We're going to highsgolf.com with Chris Wilson uh, coming off the 18th green round two. Chris, maybe not the one you saw your week one, but uh, I got around six and seven. Uh, how do you think you play down here given the conditions? Uh, what do you think you played more. Yeah. Nothing, I did nothing well. The funny thing is, it doesn't feel like it's too far off, which is encouraging. Um, I had. I had moments where I looked like I knew what I was doing, and I had moments where I looked like I didn't belong out here. Um, but uh, I feel like it's not too far off, which is, I think, all that matters. This is leading into US Open qualifying Monday, correct? Tell us a little about uh, what you hope to improve on, uh, you know, what you expect from the course there. Well, I'm an alternate Monday right now, so I guess getting in would be the first step. Yeah. Uh, once I get in, uh, I know this golf course as well. Uh, they suit my game well. And, I don't think there's a whole lot I need to change. The score may look. The, my scores weren't indicative of how close my game was, I don't think. But uh, you know, a lot of people don't understand that. They see the number and that's all they see. And you know, they don't they don't know what I feel, they don't know how the game feels, you know, how my practice sessions go, things like that. Um, so you know, I, I think I just need to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm on, I'm on the right track. Uh, I feel comfortable with what I'm working on in my game. And, I just think I need to be patient and give it more time. Yeah, next week we're headed to Memphis? Yeah. So tell us a little bit, maybe previewing that week, uh, what it's like to play in there. Uh, well, I've never been to Memphis, so it'll be all new to me, but I'm looking forward to it. It's a great event. It's a good field. The golf course is pretty hard from what I understand. Um, and obviously St. Jude's the title sponsor. That's a good cause. Thanks for your time. I appreciate sure. it. Not a problem. Thank you. This is Chris Wilson with TheHighsGolf.com.